I've never met a farmer that didn't work hard to take care of the land they love, and that is especially true for the family you're about to meet right now. Come with me to South Louisiana to meet the Blanchard family, sugarcane farmers planting roots for the future. Meet Lane Blanchard. He's a fifth generation sugarcane farmer in New Iberia, Louisiana. My wife, I tell you, you know, I got sugar in my blood. Lane spent his entire life in these leafy green fields, farming 3,000 acres of sugarcane alongside his father, brothers, and sons. So, Lane, take me in here because I want to see exactly what sugarcane is. First of all, I had no idea how tall it is. Yeah, well, it's just in the starting stages now. The, uh, this cane will get up probably on an average of about 10 feet tall. 10 feet? Yeah, at harvest time. And so where exactly is the sugar coming from? Well, actually, as this cane is going to grow, it, uh, it makes what they call inner nodes. Inner nodes, if okay. You, if you dig down deep inside, there's very few now, but... Oh, there look, it is. If you look here... That's the cane. That's the cane itself. And this is what it'll look like, you know, once it grows out to maturity. Louisiana's subtropical weather provides the perfect climate for growing sugarcane, a multi-million dollar crop in the Bayou State. Each of these plants on Lane's farm will produce for three years, with a sugarcane harvest every 12 months. Once harvested, the stalks of cane are hauled to a processing plant, where they're crushed to extract the raw brown sugar crystals inside. After processing, trucks will haul the brown sugar to the plant's storage area. How did they get what you grew to this? Through a process what we call grinding sugarcane. Grinding sugarcane, and then what happens from here? From here, it's going to go to a refiner, and they will refine it one more time to make a white sugar. Lane sugar is shipped all over the world, ending up in soft drinks, candy, pastries, or in your morning cup of coffee. Being the latest in a long line of cane farmers is important to Lane and his family. I think I love it so much because that's what he has always wanted to do, and it's been in his family, you know, for years and years and years. And, you know, and now that my boys are working with him and I can see how much that they love it, um, and just being along their side, helping and, you know, as a wife, and um, it, it, it means a lot to us. Number one, try to help pay for this weed control cost that a sugarcane farmer has. These days, improving the crop means improving the land on which the cane is grown. To do that, Lane is taking part in the Louisiana Master Farmers Program, a statewide project with environmental coursework and accreditation requirements that the farmers must meet. Lane is doing everything he can to improve his soil quality because he knows how important it is and it's for the future of the farm. It's not something that he's going to get an immediate return on, which um, is really powerful and it's great farm management technique. That's part of what, what we're trying to learn is how to preserve this soil for future generations. You know, people don't realize how important the soil is. You know, it's not just about going out there and working the crop. The soil is very important. We're taking every measure we can to preserve this soil for future generations. To be able to manage this soil like it would be part of me. The expansive tracts of sugarcane here are a far cry from the 90 acres first planted by Lane's father Harvey a half century ago. But the family's farming dream remains the same, watching the roots of this farm continue to grow in good times and bad. But farming's that way, you know, you gotta, you gotta be there when it's bad to, to reap the good. I'm proud of him and the boys for all they, you know, come through because it was uh, good times and bad, you know. Why is it so special to you, Lane? Well, it's all I've ever done. I mean, I grew up on a farm and it's all I've wanted to do. Well, you're living your dream. Yep. <laughs> and it's a sweet one, too. Yeah. <laughs> exactly right. <laughs>